Now I have a question. Would you buy this product if I added maltodextrin to it? Chances are you probably wouldn't, okay? I'm gonna teach you a scientific, simple, quick test that you can apply to any food or supplement to determine if there is hidden starches, okay? Like maltodextrin, by simply adding a little iodine. Check this out. All right, I'm gonna show you an experiment. This test is to determine if there are carbohydrates in your supplements or even your food, okay? And primarily I'm gonna focus on maltodextrin because that's a the hidden carb, which is really a sugar, um, in a lot of supplements, especially in flavors. Now, that works like this. All you need is some iodine, okay? If you combine iodine with the starch, it turns the color blue. Now, if we take just normal water, Okay, I'm just going to take water. We just take a drop or two of iodine in just regular water, tap water. You can see it doesn't turn blue. It stays kind of golden yellow, okay? But if we take some iodine on some wonderful bread, you can see it will turn it blue. Okay, that's the chemical reaction that occurs, which I'm not going to get into why, but it just does that. Now, if we take pure maltodextrin, for example, and put it in some water right here, okay, mix it up, put a couple drops of iodine in it, you can see the color blue or purple. Okay, that's pure maltodextrin. Now let's take this other electrolyte powder, which is a competitor's brand, uh, which has a very similar formula to mine, like a copycat formula. Um, they state that this is without sugar or maltodextrin. Okay, cool. Okay, so let's add a scoop of that and a couple drops of iodine. Let's see if it has maltodextrin in there. Ooh, turns purple blue. Apparently it does. All right, now let's take my electrolyte powder. Let's just see if it has any maltodextrin in there or, or carbs, starches, I mean. Okay, mix it here. Let's put a couple drops of iodine in there. Hmm, no purple. No maltodextrin. In fact, let's put some even more iodine in there. See if it eventually turns it purple. And the answer is no. It stays yellow gold. And you can try this with anything. Okay, so you just need some iodine. And you can add it to the, the food or put it in some liquid if there's a powder. And you can detect hidden maltodextrin and other starches in your supplements and food is I went ahead and did the iodine test on every single one of my products. And I also learned something new about this iodine test or starch test, and that is this. Iodine will also react against chlorophyll. And so if a product has chlorophyll, like a wheatgrass juice powder or cruciferous or a leafy green, because of the pigment chlorophyll uh, in interacting with iodine, it will turn the substance a little bit brown. Not purple, but brown. We also learned that if a product has inulin, okay, um, it can also alter the uh, color. So I just wanted to bring that up because it's not just maltodextrin or other starches that can turn things a different color. All right, so now that you know how to determine if there are hidden starches in your, your products that you buy, um, let's talk a little bit more about these hidden starches. And the main starch that is put in so many of these products is maltodextrin. It's a nearly $4 billion industry. Where are they putting all this maltodextrin in? Well, they use it as a bulking agent, a thickening agent, a carrier for various things like uh, flavorings. They use it to add certain texture. They use it to increase uh, shelf life. They promote it as being plant-based and something that's very, very inexpensive. One metric ton of this stuff is like only $520. 
So if a manufacturing company wants to use it to add something as a filler, maybe add some texture, they're only spending pennies, okay? So the profit can go very, very high. There's some other sneaky added benefits to a company that you should know about. Number one, maltodextrin can be classified on the label as a carbohydrate, but not as a sugar. Despite behaving like a sugar, I mean, on the glycemic index, you have table sugar, 65. Glucose, 100. Maltodextrin is between 105 and 185. I mean, when that stuff hits your bloodstream, you are majorly spiking your blood sugars and majorly increasing insulin. And what's wild is there's a loophole that allows you to classify it as a carbohydrate and not as a sugar. In fact, and also when maltodextrin is 0.5 grams per serving size, they don't have to list maltodextrin on the label. And it's usually made from corn, but it's also made from wheat, rice, potato. But many of the supplements that you are probably taking right now have it in there as a hidden ingredient for various reasons. One, as a kind of a carrier or a conversion of liquid uh, flavoring to powdered flavoring. In fact, it was very, very difficult for me to find a flavoring company that did not use maltodextrin. And unfortunately, many of the supplement uh, companies out there are uh, developed and formulated by marketers who don't really care about the quality. But you have flavorings, you have supplements, you have energy gels uh, that are used for long distance runners that actually even have in the label like uh, sugar free, but it's just filled with sh hidden sugars as carbohydrates. They're even going after the baby formulas. Yeah, baby formula loaded with maltodextrin and definitely uh, the sport products uh, in um, muscle building powders energy drinks, etc. But unfortunately, a lot of people don't know about this. It's that little dirty secret that if people found out, they wouldn't buy a product that has this very, very high glycemic index sugar in it. If you're going to exercise, right, and you're going to take a sports drink or a sports gel, would it help to have that be candy or sugar? Does that improve your performance, really? No, it's going to spike your blood sugars and it's going to come down and you're going to get tired. Not to mention so many of the keto products, right? They're supposed to be keto friendly. Uh, they're not very keto friendly. And this could definitely be one reason uh, why people might try keto with some of these products, unknowingly not able to get into keto because of the amount of hidden maltodextrin. And then maybe say, well, keto didn't work. Let me go on to the next diet. So I just wanted to create this video um, to teach you a, a tool that you can use using simple iodine. And since we're on the topic of maltodextrin, if you haven't seen this video, you definitely need to check it out. I put it up right here.